I am a group captain uh, uh, NS Murthy. I served in the Air Force for uh, about 25 years in the uh, aeronautical engineers branch, and then uh, in the rank of captain, I retired in 2012. Thereafter, uh, I chose to uh, continue with my passion, which is uh, flight testing, and uh, that opportunity is available only in uh, HAL. My exposure. Uh, while in service to HAL uh, also helped me uh, in some extent. So how is your uh, experience with Aero India 2023 been? Aero India 2023 uh, actually uh, is a culmination for uh, our project HTT uh, 40 because uh, when we uh, started this project in 2013 on the uh, drawing board we thought at least in the next 10 years we should have the aircraft certified and it should be in a condition to hand over uh, to the services i am happy to say that uh, we are very close to that the aircraft has achieved the certification in uh, 2021 uh, december and now Everything is ready as far as the contract with the Air Force is concerned. Only a signature on the dotted line yeah, that is expected to happen in uh, March. So, this uh, actually is a culmination, uh, I would say, to the success story of uh, HTT 40 aircraft. If you can give us more details about the current project you're working on, how has it been faring Yeah, I think uh, in the last uh, 10 years or so, uh, there has been a paradigm uh, shift uh, in the uh, approach that uh, HAL has taken uh, to aviation projects. Uh, I don't know if I can say this, but uh, you see, uh, HAL is a Sarkari company and uh, like any other government company, uh, the projects used to be, uh, it, the approach used to be like uh, you give us the project, you give us the funding. Uh, then uh, we promise to deliver and possibly we deliver it with some uh, cost and uh, time overruns. This has happened because HAL uh, actually got into this license manufacturing mode and in the last 10 years a very conscious decision was taken that we should get out of this mode and get on to uh, the mode of innovation if we have to really become uh, a global uh, leader or among the leaders in uh, aviation industry. The projects of HTT 40 and LUH, I would say are the uh, first fledgling steps that uh, HAL has taken, wherein the funding was uh, in-house, the projects were started without any uh, customer uh, in mind, with just the uh, confidence that if we have a good product, the product will be taken by the customer and that is what has happened and from there we are now going uh, from strength to strength we are upgrading the LCA aircraft into Mark 1A with uh, new radar uh, weapon systems and uh, the electronic warfare systems we are uh, the uh, the project of HLFT has been unveiled in this uh, Aero India this is the project uh, which HAL has taken up because we want to mark our space in the uh, supersonic uh, realm also. So we have uh, helicopters, uh, uh, trainer aircraft of uh, different uh, capacities and now with HLFT we will also having the uh, supersonic uh, capability independently. And I believe that will be a very good thing for the uh, nation as a whole. LUH, as I uh, mentioned again, like uh, this is a totally uh, in-house uh, uh, project of uh, HAL, uh, wherein uh, funding was uh, done within HAL and when funding gets done uh, internally, what I saw is the work ethos of the company change uh, completely. You are more thrifty, you are more efficient and you want to deliver the product on time and uh, that's how uh, even before the uh, order was placed, LUH aircraft was ready for uh, delivery which has uh, never happened uh, before.
and LUH is such a, a versatile uh, uh, helicopter. It will be uh, used in multiple roles in IAF. I think my uh, rotary wing brethren are more competent people to talk about uh, LUH. Is there anything you're looking forward to seeing in the next aero show? We uh, have. Uh, as a company, I was saying that we started conceptualizing projects and uh, products. One of the important uh, projects that HL has uh, embarked upon uh, independently is the CATS uh, project. The CATS project has got many uh, uh, components to it. Some of the components of uh, CATS should be flying in the next uh, Aero India. One final question. How is HAL preparing for supersonic capabilities? Is it an indigenous system? Yes. <clears throat> we, uh, as a nation, we have the uh, supersonic uh, capability uh, in the shape of uh, LCA. And uh, we also have uh, multiple projects going on with uh, DRDO, ADA, and uh, uh, the other uh, organizations of DRDO. Uh, for uh, LCM Mark II and AMCA. However, HEL may be part of these projects or may not be part of these projects because uh, as a policy, uh, the footprint of the aviation industry should be expanding beyond HEL. Uh, HEL should not uh, become a monolith uh, in this. For that reason, HEL uh, is embarked uh, or has embarked upon uh, this uh, HLFT uh, project which is uh, uh, supersonic and that will give this company uh, uh, the ability to make supersonic uh, aircraft. It is starting as a trainer and if the uh, product is good, uh, the sky is the limit. It can be, uh, many variants can come for many roles which will be helpful for our uh, forces and place HAL as a company uh, among the leaders in this field. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.